Welcome to Concept Conspiracies, the mini series on Strand series where you take a look at a concept art and we evaluate it. Today's concept art is what I like to call Dead End. Now the reason why I like to call this guy Dead End is just look at him. He looks like if you ran into this guy, he would kill you on the spot. And he's also red and that's one of Dead End's colors and he also has black for his dreads. And I'm gonna assume that nobody's gonna be touching Metal Beard over here with a 10 foot pole anytime soon. So here's a fun fact about this concept art. This is actually an early dread model and it was made by the legendary Joss Nizai who makes a lot of Transformers concept art and he also works on a lot of Marvel movies too. And to back up why this guy is actually a dread concept is because his name is nicknamed as Dreadlock just because of the dreads. Now we never got to see this guy in Dark of the Moon or any other film but what other characters have dreadlocks you may ask? The dreads of course and that's why I'm going to conclude that this was an early dread model. Also I can conclude that is because Dead End over here also has like a metal nose ring I would like to say and that's also carried on to Crankcase. So let's go point out some things about it. Well to me I love this concept art because it looks so cool and it looks like what a Transformer Decepticon just should look like. I like how he has those tires on his arms and they kind of make up his elbows and that type of thing. I also like how he has tire feet so he can maybe roll around like Sideswipe. I also like this, now I do not know if this was intentional or not, but he also has those lights that are on his knees. Now those remind me a lot of Ironhide when he's transforming, jumping over Brawl's missiles, and that is just a very cool homage, if it even is an homage to Ironhide. I really love how this concept art also has those springs that hold up his arms so maybe when he like closes it the springs contract and retract and I think that's just amazing. I love those little details that go inside a Transformer just to make him look epic. Now I also like how he has those light bars above his head and this reminds me a lot of that GTX that's in the Bumblebee movie so maybe that GTX if it's not barricade will have this robot mode and I hope it does. Lastly I like how the shoulders are the grill of the car and it just makes it look so cool and I wish I honestly I know I said this a lot but I wish this guy actually became a real toy and was actually in the movie. Well, that's all for this episode of Concept Conspiracies. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, if you have a story that you could tell me about what this guy could have done in Dark of the Moon, don't forget to comment that too, and I would want to read every single one, and the best one is going to get pinned on this video. Well, this has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, your car was still on the